Hey everyone, in the news this week, the US shot down a Chinese weather balloon, presumably the guidance system had been designed by someone called Wang Wei. Health news, with talk about a Pecora ban, Wait, no, they're talking about the fashion designer Paco Raban. he's dead. There's also a locksmith found dead, and police are looking for a key witness. And the Welsh Rugby Union decided to ban the Tom Jones song Delilah from matches, to which the fans started of course singing, why, why, why? Tom Jones was asked if having a song banned was a common occurrence, to which he replied, it's not unusual. Let's talk about Wales actually, or specifically Mark Drakeford's handling of the place. There was recently a story doing the rounds about the vast sums of money that taxpayers have poured into the loss-making Cardiff Airport. In 2013, the airport was nationalised at the cost of £52 million, and the place has since written off a subsequent £40 million of taxpayer loans. Last year alone, the First Minister wrote a cheque for nearly £9 million, quid, yet it still went on to rack up another loss of £3 million. The finances put the place vaguely in line with the nearby football club, and if there was a league table of leaders, Drakeford would be placed pretty low too. He isn't as slick as Rishi, as popular as Boris, as furious as Nicola Sturgeon, he's not all over the internet like Sadiq Khan. Instead, he's mostly just spent his years in power of testing out the sort of policies that rarely go any further than an argument at a student union. The Welsh Government have trialled a standard 20 miles an hour speed limit, a four-day week, a universal income trial, and at this stage you may as well just hand everyone vouchers to Weatherspoons because that might win you some votes, and if it doesn't work out, it's somehow creating jobs and just blame the English, all while potential voters, quote, liquidise the assets. All of these policies, of course, ended in failure, followed by blaming Westminster. For instance, this last week it was singled out for not providing enough money to end the nursing strike, despite the fact that Drakeford has the power to raise income taxes and pay for himself, if he thought that people wanted higher taxes to pay for more government. I'd say there's a light at the end of the tunnel, except the Welsh nationalists have been keen to embrace the sort of green policies that mean that that light at the end of the tunnel has had to be turned off due to the soaring price of electricity. One of the more asinine policies was during 2020 when the Welsh Government decided to allow Tesco to open up, but only for non-food sales, with taped off and secured areas preventing people risking their life by purchasing dangerous things like shoes or cutlery. Schools, meanwhile, were closed constantly because it was easier to just give teachers a paid year off work than have to deal with the trade union. Drakeford is at best disinterested, keen to bask in the glories of devolution and grievance politics, but without wanting to actually take any responsibility for the omnishambles left in his wake. In a historical context, it's a tragedy, really. People like Nye Bevan, Lloyd George and Roy Jenkins set the national agenda, while Stratford leaves a legacy of whinging and incompetence. Wills has historically done far better, and I'd argue voters deserve far better, but then voters also get the politicians they deserve and vote for. A good analogy for the economy is Cardiff itself, a quasi-ghost town these days, with 9 in 10 of the civil servants working from home, with literally millions of square feet of government offices sat empty, but with the lights on and heating turned on from 9 to 5. All of this is of course utterly indefensible, but as defenders claim it works both ways and that Wales subsidises things like Crossrail or HS2. I personally don't blame them though, I'd be keen to get a railway built if it meant I could escape or be able to commute to and from a job in England. Although my only real experience with the Welsh railway system is watching Ivor the Engine when I was a kid, which I would hope is out of date by now. Although now I'm thinking about defunct kids TV shows, perhaps Drakeford could pass a bill to get the Wombles to run the bin lorries, or perhaps Mr Ben could visit that costume shop and have a stint at being a competent first Welsh minister, he couldn't do any worse than the incumbent. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.